On this first example, I will take a little longer than the others, just so you get the rhythm of how it's going to work. In later videos, we'll go through quite quickly. Per the bank reconciliation, we noted that $30 of bank fees were not recorded yet. Thinking of the impact of those bank fees on the balance sheet equation, bank fees would come out of our cash, thus reducing assets. And because bank fees will have increased, the owner's equity in the business will have decreased. Step 1. Draw T accounts that represent the ledgers and enter the pre-adjusted account balances for each affected account. These balances came from the pre-adjusted trial balance and I've entered them here for you to save you a little time. 2. Determine what the adjusted account balances should be. In other words, after paying $30 in bank fees, how much cash would you have left and what would your bank fees for the year be, assuming you started with having no bank fees? The answer is you would have $30 in bank fees, which we would show by debiting it $30, and our cash would have decreased by $30 to a balance of $149,070 as a debit. 3. Determine the debits or credits that are needed to adjust the wrong, pre-adjusted balances, to the right, adjusted balances. Bank fees need to be increased $30, and cash needs to be reduced $30. I've indicated below each of the T accounts what side is the plus side and what side is the minus side for each. Cash is increased with debits and decreased with credits, and bank fees are increased with debits and decreased with credits. A debit to bank fees will increase bank fees to $30, and a credit to cash will decrease cash $30. 4. Record the adjusting entry in the general journal and post to ledger. We'll debit bank fees $30 and credit cash $30. Now having said that, this visual representation is effectively saying that we recorded the journal entry first and then posted into the ledger. This is just a little worksheet to help us know what the adjusting entry is, but I'm also going to use this as if this were the posting of the general journal. It may seem a little bit backwards, but this is the journal entry that's recorded first and then is posted into the ledger as you can see here. Let's go on to some other examples.